today I'm here to tell you why you should consider using one of these corded lights for your scuba diving. I'm Nicole and I work for Halcyon Dive Systems and before I get started I'm telling you my story, please hit the subscribe button below and hit the notification bell so you can be updated when we release new content. So here I am today to tell you about why I went with a corded light. I'm going to keep it real with you and as embarrassing as it to say, the reason I went there is not because of the features I'm about to tell you about a corded light, but because of a really stupid mistake I made. I am a human diver and sometimes we learn from mistakes we make. Unfortunately, it was a costly one. So I am on my dream liveaboard vacation in Komodo Islands. We are doing a night dive and it's beautiful. I'm seeing all of the critters. The dive guide calls me over and said, look at here and I see a little seahorse and I'm so excited. And then, oh, I drop my light. Now, here's the problem is that I can't just go and get it because it's 2000 feet deep. That light is gone. It's just gone, at which point, we end the dive and I come up, I'm sitting there on the boat sulking because not only did I miss the dive and I can't do any other night dives, but I'm out a lot of money. And it just got me thinking, oh, have you seen those parents in the grocery store and they have their child on a tether? I think I need one of those for my lights. And that's what got me thinking about, I've seen these corded lights. I then invest in my first Halcyon corded light. Now, I'm gonna be honest with you. On day one, uh, this cord in front of me, it was sort of distracting to me. As I'm diving, it, it felt a little funny on day one. I guess it's similar to when you get a new pair of shoes and how it just feels on day one. It's not quite right. But let me tell you, by day two, I actually liked it. And I don't even notice this is here now regularly. So it literally just took me a day of adjustment to get used to the corded light. But here's the bonus about this is the burn time of this battery. Just before we get into burn time, please, I'd really appreciate it if you'd like this video, that way I can bring you more videos. Back to burn time. Okay, so the great thing about a corded light is you're going to have a larger battery. What does that mean? Burn time, you're gonna get more burn time. Here's another thing I'm gonna say. I kind of lazy sometimes and I don't want to run off and charge my light after every dive necessarily. This Focus 2 battery, you get approximately on, on high light, you'll get two and a half hours of burn time. On low light, which to be honest is bright enough, I don't even need the high light. With low light, I'm gonna get five hours of burn time on this. So after a dive, say I've only been diving for an hour, I don't want to go home and take care of the things in charge. I want to go out with my dive buddies and have some food and drinks. That was one thing I really liked about the burn time. Also, it's heavier as you can see the difference, right? In a handheld light, this is the battery pack for the corded Focus 2 light. This is heavier, it's bigger. I have this on my hip. If this was the size of battery for a handheld in my hand, that would be heavy. That's another benefit of having the corded light because the battery pack isn't on your arm. One more thing about burn time. I am a cave diver, I'm a shipwreck diver, and often I'm diving in overhead environments. What that means is the burn time of, of a battery is really important to me because if a light goes out while I'm in a cave, albeit I have a backup light, so it's not necessarily that I'm instantly, but it would again mean that my dive is over. Having that extra burn time is super important to me, especially diving in overhead environments. Just so we're clear though, a corded light isn't only for an overhead environment. It's not just for cave divers or technical divers. I use this on recreational dives all the time. Guys, so that's how the story came to be where I ended up using a corded light. It wasn't because I was seeking the features that I just talked about. That's an added benefit that I learned after the fact. It really was because I embarrassingly enough dropped my expensive light down to the abyss. So this is just one type of content that we are hoping to give to you and hope you found valuable. Real divers giving real stories. So we have another one right here. Be sure to watch that. And don't forget, please subscribe. If you like this type of content, we'd love to connect with you some more. We will see you the next time.